This question appeared in 2018 and the question asked about which enzyme deficiency causes Leishnian syndrome and your options are hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase that is SGPRTase, xanthine oxidase, adenine phosphoribosyl transferase that is APRT and the last is AMP deaminase. Now, Leishnian syndrome again is a very very high yield topic, you know questions have been asked from biochemistry point, from uh, pediatrics, question has been asked from internal medicine, diagnosis, management, so it's a very high yield topic. Let me, you know, learn, teach you about Leishnian syndrome. So the first important thing which you have to remember and this has been very much asked in the examination is, it's a text linked disorder, which means primarily males will be affected. So it's a S-linked disorder and primarily males will be affected. And it is because of a complete deficiency of enzyme SGPRTase. Okay, this is what has been asked in the examination. Leishnian syndrome is because of the complete deficiency of SGPRTase. Now, another question which has been asked is, what happens when there is a partial deficiency? What happens when there is a partial deficiency of SGPRTase? The correct answer will be, it will cause Kelly Sigmider syndrome. We will talk about this syndrome in a while. So, complete deficiency, Leishnian syndrome, partial deficiency, Kelly Sigmider syndrome. Now, what is the role of SGPRTS? Now, understand very, very carefully. So, what happens? Hypoxanthine and guanine both with the help of this enzyme SGPRTase will get converted into ionosine monophosphate and guanosine monophosphate and this is how the recycling of purine happens and this is what we call as salvage pathway which means you know, these purine molecules take a lot of energy to create. So, body has created. So, whenever there is a breakdown of purine molecules, they are not completely broken down. They are recycled. And that recycling process in purines is called a salvage pathway. So, this enzyme, the SGPRT is a very, very crucial enzyme in your salvage pathway. So, what it does, it will convert hypoxanthine into ionosine monophosphate and guanine into guanosine monophosphate. And they can further be converted, this will be converted into adenosine monophosphate and this will be, you know, so this is how recycling happens. Now, if this enzyme is absent, what is going to happen? All this hypoxanthine and guanine with the help of an enzyme called as xanthine oxidase, okay? An enzyme called xanthine oxidase will be converted into xanthine and again the same xanthine oxidase will convert it into uric acid. Understood? So, what is going to happen in this particular disease? The level of uric acid will be very high. Clear? So, what I told you is hypoxanthine and guanine with the help of this enzyme SGPRTase will be converted into ionosine monophosphate and guanosine monophosphate. This particular reaction hence becomes very very crucial for your salvage pathway seen in purine metabolism. However, if this enzyme is absent, what is going to happen with all this hypoxanthine and guanine? They will be completely broken down into xanthine and uric acid with the help of an enzyme called as xanthine oxidase. So ultimately, level of uric acid will rise. So let's look at clinical feature, how these patients will present. So when I talk about clinical features, so we will have a child, okay, who has significant developmental delays who has significant, significant developmental delays and he will have neurological, cognitive, social, you know, uh, disturbances, okay. One very characteristic feature and this again has been asked super so many times in the examination is a characteristic finding of 
सेल्फ म्यूटिलेशन और कंपल्सिव सेल्फ म्यूटिलेशन वॉट डज दैट मीन दैट दिस चाइल्ड विल कीप ऑन बाइटिंग देयर फिंगर्स देयर नो देयर फिंगर्स विल बी ब्लीडिंग दे विल बी बाइटिंग देयर बॉडी पार्ट्स सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज कंपल्सिव सेल्फ म्यूटिलेशन सेल्फ हार्मिंग टेंडेंसीज सो दिस इज वेरी कैरेक्टरिस्टिकली सीन इन योर लीश नियान सिंड्रोम पेशेंट्स एंड दिस हैज बीन आस्ट इन द एग्जामिनेशन नाउ दीज चाइल्ड्स आर ऑल्सो वेरी अग्रेसिव एंड सो मेनी अ टाइम्स यू नो द पेरेंट्स हैव टू टाई और स्ट्रैप दीज चिल्ड्रेन टू बेड सो दे आर सो अग्रेसिव सो दीज आर द क्लिनिकल फीचर्स नाउ रिमेंबर आई टॉक्ट अबाउट केली सिगमा सिंड्रोम सो इन दिस वॉट हैपन्स is all these symptoms will not be there only uric acid will be high some developmental delays but cns symptoms will not be there even if partial deficiency is there a partial activity is there okay then the cns symptoms will not appear your uric acid level will be high hyperuricemia will be there but cns symptoms will not be seen in kelly sigmaia syndrome clear one another very characteristic clinical feature and this again has been asked in the uh, examination is passage of orange crystals in urine passage of orange crystals in urine and what are this orange crystals these are nothing but uric acid crystals so these are the clinical features let's look at how will be diagnosed so for diagnosis we will have to measure sg pr ts activity okay now again what question has been asked is where do we measure this sgprts activity so we measure it in the rbcs we measure it in the rbcs so this is how we diagnosis we do enzyme studies in rbcs and try to measure the sgprts activity now once we have established our diagnosis how do we manage this patient so the first drug of choice they will ask you and again this has been asked is allo puri not allo puri not why so here again a very very critical question so i have told you all the pathogenesis is because of this enzyme called as xanthine oxidase what does this xanthine oxidase do it will convert this excess hypoxanthine and guanine into xanthine first and then uric acid so what if we inhibit this xanthine oxidase what if we inhibit this xanthine oxidase so allopurinol will inhibit this xanthine oxidase so your uric acid levels will so that is the drug of choice second obviously you want to give plenty of fluids you know fluid intake and last important again this has been asked in the examination is we go for an alkalinization of urine why do we go for an alkalinization of urine we know that uric acid is acid so if the uh, uh, urine ph is acidic it will crystallize you know faster so if we alkalinize the urine it will promote dissolution and you know excretion of this uric acid okay so these are all the questions which has been asked in the examination and this again becomes super important topic i think there is hardly any line on which question has not been asked on lishnian syndrome super important so again the answer for this question which enzyme causes deficiency uh, deficiency causes lishnian syndrome so the correct answer will be hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase also called as sgprts